Kieran Zeff here and welcome to Hubris Overview. Sometimes I'm feeling like I'm having a stroke figuring out the actual correct spelling of some games. This is definitely a surprise for the whole platform essentially because I remember this project came out like a half year ago on PC VR with stunning visuals and such and I think last week or two it suddenly happened in the coming soon section just out of the blue. Is it the same miracle level port skills just like in the first Walking Dead or like Medal of Honor? I can't really tell because I've never played the actual original game so I'll have to judge it myself and not listen to any other people just like always. So who Hubris is a sci-fi action adventure game where, as a fresh off the press recruit from the Order of Objectivity, you're sent to the planetoid belt of twin planetary systems to search and track down the mysterious disappearance of Agent Siania. <laughs> My god, it's getting worse with those names. I mean, it seems like it's gonna be perfectly aligning with my taste overall. Though the thing is that while watching the trailer, I could not figure it out what's the gameplay or the point of the title at all. There are not many games that I compare it to though maybe the closest would be like a lone echo-ish thing with a more offensive gameplay but then stated in a surface of some planet. The graphics look amazing, I fastly compared it to the PC VR version and there's definitely a difference though in a way that the devs managed to keep the same ambience and the world immersion but here it's just gonna be with a lack of lightning and brighter environment with contrast. The world itself looks very interesting and something that I've never seen before. There are some sneak peeks of the mechanics, for example you can change like a weapon into another thing, control and drive vehicles that isn't necessarily a common feature for us on the platform. It says it's gonna be a multi-episodic space saga, <laughs> but I'm hoping it's not gonna release like in some episodes. It's just very mysterious, like it's not clear that much what's really going on and if the whole storyline will be something to look forward to. Regardless, it's gonna be a very good entry for us anyways, cause we're lacking story games in general, so worst case scenario, however average it's gonna be, <laughs> it's just gonna be elevated because of that fact. Let's go to the gameplay. Congratulations recruit in finishing your basic training. Before you leave to the Twin Planet system, I'm going to help you get used to this Triple O tactical suit, which has the ability to adapt to most environments you will encounter. Let's get started. Is there like a small vignette going on or am I crazy? Like very much on the edges of the peripherals. I mean, I have it disabled and still kind of the same. I think? I don't know, maybe it's the trick of the developer to make this game run. Which, with the textures and graphics... See, it's something in the middle, like... Star Wars, but both experiences, like... A soldier needs to be able to move with agility. The suit will boost your speed and strength. Use your left joystick to move forward. Use your right joystick to turn. That's too slow for a uh, movement. Sometimes you will need that extra speed boost to reach certain places. Try reaching the door before it closes. Well done, you have made it on time. <laughs> now go stand on the red tile. Now press A to jump. Jump in. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the A button longer. These gaps are bigger, so try jumping while sprinting towards them. Not all heights are reachable by simply jumping onto them. Climbing will be just as important. By using the side button, you can grab ledges and climb. You can climb on top by moving one or both controllers down in a push motion while pressing the grab button. You can also grab ledges while jumping towards them. Everything seems to be correct. Unless it feels kind of unnatural of the fluidity of the climbing, but it's VR. <laughs> Another barrier you will have to overcome, navigating in and underwater. Don't worry about oxygen, your suit is adapted to provide it in any environment. 
Swimming is straightforward. You move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands, jump in the water, and make swimming movements. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Thank you. Your suit is equipped with a hollow backpack. It can transform matter into data and materialize it again when you grab it back. Please pick up these items by using the side buttons, then drop them behind one of your shoulders to put them in your backpack. I love how she's saying side buttons, <laughs> like dumbbell version of grab button. <laughs> because not everyone understands, I guess. There is a slight indicator what you grab. Well done. Take a look at the top of your left wrist. You can see a big triple O logo on there. The percentage on it tells you what the energy level of your suit is. As your suit is connected to your body, eating or drinking will raise the energy level. Now, good. Your energy level is at 100% again. Now put a battery in the red slot to disable the force field by grabbing it over your left shoulder. Are those like names of certain items? Can I check it or is it just like by intuition you think what's what? Well done. Continue and open the last door. Ah, almost cheated the system. <laughs> But not least, you will by pressing B, you can equip or unequip. Try hitting as many targets as possible within the time limit to pass your final assessment. To reload the gun, push the clip back in. How did I switch hands? Now. <laughs> That's kind of automatic dual build, like okay. Okay, I mean, it clearly has ammo, but like... An automatic one? Now we can hit anywhere. Not quite there. Keep trying. You can do better. I'm testing your mechanics. I mean, that's a unique way of reloading, definitely. Well done, recruit. To wrap up your training, you will be sent to the Twin Planet system. Walk towards the end of the room and board your spacecraft. For the journey ahead, you won't be needing any weapons, as you will be escorted by far more experienced and trained soldiers. Sure, Jen. Please take your place in your sleeping pod. Make yourself comfortable, because it will be a long trip. Oh wow. Oh, we can move in. <laughs> Stunning. Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this Triple O ship. Yeah, before we unlock your sleeping pod, I'm gonna give you a short update. We've just left light speed to enter the Twin Planet system, still several hours away from your drop-off point. The intergalactic harbor on the Pillar Planet, where you... Let me check your data. You'll continue your training to become an agent of the Order of Objectivity. Well, believe me, there are worse places to be trained than the capital of temptation. 
Hey, anyway, I'm going to unlock your cabin now. Hey, before you rush out, be aware you've been asleep for nine days, so moving around can feel strange for a while. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're like absorbing each other or something? Like, definitely unique system. Just a sec. We're receiving a code 9 message from the command ship. Where was the other part of that already? Triple O members, Lord Transport Vessel MOG 309. We received an emergency call from a dwarf planet, which your ship is passing by at this very moment. Due to the fact that none of my agents are close by, I'm reaching out for you. Our Honor, I order you, a special force commander, to go down and check it out. Now, Officer Lucia, start the landing procedures immediately. Troopers, once landed on the planet, go and search for Special Agent Sayana. We lost all contact since you sent a message from one of the drones, so she may be wounded or even dead. But if she is alive, do whatever you can to help her finish what she started. Now, in the name of the order of objectivity, go and succeed. All right, recruit. Troopers, you heard the commander. Forget about the pleasure domes on the pillar planet. We have a mission to attend to instead. Buckle up. We're going down. That was kind of awkward. I appreciate the face movements, but it made me uneasy. <laughs> also, I swear, this Sayana person, she was called different in the description than in the game now. The thing with the swimming is that it's easy to go forward, but not necessarily down. Kind of, but... See those batteries over there? Grab one and put it in your backpack. Okay, good. Now, follow me outside. Oh. Hello. Listen carefully. You see that recon drone over there? Top of that rock? I tried to reactivate it, but the battery's dead. If you could climb out of the water and put the new battery in, then I can re-enter the ship and connect to the drone from there. Oh, great, you did it. My turn now. Do you see something on the peripherals when I move my head? Yes, it works. I can control the drone remotely now. Oh, while you were unconscious, those two troopers already left the ship and went searching for the spaceport. Uh, I suggest you follow them. Okay, I'll lead the way. Recruit, follow me. Uh, I mean the drone. Oh, avoid swimming in the water as much as possible. I tried blasting these squid with my energy blaster, but it seemed to have no effect on these species. Best to avoid them for now. It's like there's a black box around my eyes. Additionally, because there's a vignette, like... It's hard to tell if it's vignette or not because it's very, like... Limiting my visuals, but it's not the exact definition, I guess. You know, you're probably wondering why we ended up in the water. Well, I was flying towards the spaceport when this little ship took off and flew right at us. 
I didn't want to crash into them, so I had to change course before landing, and here we are. Well, the good news is that the ship isn't severely damaged. Okay, so while you and the troopers are looking for Cyana, I'll try and pump out the water and get the ship going again. Oh, let's hope those terraformers don't start up before I finish the job, so I can pick you all up. I'm assuming you find Agent Cyana, and she's still alive. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a like quest version. Though, if we would do like a playthrough or something, I would opt for PCVR, hands down. That cable is clearly made from some organic substance. You know what? I bet the Triple O database can get us some more info on this. What the? <laughs> Scan and off it goes. All right, recruit. I got a hit. Apparently, these squids are hunted for their special energy resistant body fluid. Looks like the poachers abandoned all their gear and left. I wonder what this device is used for. Let's figure this out. Squid arms go in, something comes out. Do we have it though? Like, not this. Because I don't have a gun, so I can't kill them. This cave is clearly the fastest way to the spaceport. There must be a way to cross this gap. Maybe check those boxes. You could find something useful. Maybe we could make a rope like the one outside to cross that gap. Oh. Oh, that looks like a torpedo gun. Let's get out there and hunt some squids. Oh, and bring back some arms. Didn't you pay attention during your weapon course? Torpedo guns can only be used underwater. Well, no, you didn't say that. Oh, wow. Shattered. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't get close. I think that should be enough. That's full exploration, equipment, combat, movement, like... Everything seems to be here. Mixu mixu. Ew. Oof. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> I mean, it's time to end anyways. Oh, it's so stretchy. So far, I don't really have any complaints. Like, everything is here. I'm a little bit kind of confused about the peripherals. If it's vignette or just reducing my vision in general. Like, it feels kind of off. Also, the jumping is like... 
if you would have a jetpack or something, it doesn't feel natural if you were talking specifics with the immersion. This guy was... okay. I guess it's not like a real life high quality avatar or something like that. It's just that the expressions were a little bit awkward. But I'm nitpicking and for an seemingly open world game like that, this is more than enough for the platform. I think we will be able to continue this on the PC VR though when it's always a question when the, a new game releases. Like, it's too much to do nowadays, like, I'm so spoiled.